everybody, it's me, your old pal Balthazar, and I'm back with something new. Yes, more new stuff. Oh, kind of, sort of. <laughs> it's Galvatron! That's right. Kingdom War for Cybertron Trilogy Leader Class Galvatron. And here he is. He is a big boy. Yes. Look at that artwork. That is just menacing. It is. That is terrifying. <laughs> Uh, there we go. We got some more artwork here. Look at that. That's the Kingdom logo artwork. Isn't that nice? And here we have the product shots here on the back. We've got robot mode. Cannon mode. Says you can do it in 33 steps. I wonder if I can do it in fewer. <laughs> and we have a matrix on a chain. Why not? Why not have a matrix on a chain? But yes, there he is. It is Leader Class Galvatron. That is what we are looking at today. So, let's open him up and see what it's like. Here's my hobby knife here. Cut the tape. Because I don't need the tape. I don't. Other people might, but I don't. <laughs> so yes, we got that done. Oh, let me see. Open it up. Ooh. And hand it. Ah, oh, box is a little beat up. Ah, oh, that didn't. That's not because of the mail. That's because of me. I've had them in storage. I pre-ordered this guy from Big Bad Toy Store when they first had the pre-order up and available. So, oh, there went the instructions. Those just kind of flopped out. All right, don't need the packaging there. And here he is. And what card did we get? What card did I get? Wow. Wow, look at that. <laughs> they taped that the one in there. Look at all that. <laughs> I am not getting that tape out of it very easily. Oh, well, not that card anyway. Ugh. Gotta get my hobby knife again. What in the world? What in the world has, bro? What in the world? All that effort to get the Ark. Yes, the Ark. There's robot mode. Now, what's interesting is, if you stop and think about it, I pre-ordered this Galvatron back when they first came out. The Ark wasn't even announced at that time. So, <laughs> this would have been a preview, okay? This would have been a spoiler. Yeah, that would have been a spoiler. A little late on that, though. Oh, well. Anyway, instructions are nice. Look at that. They are nice and clear. Shows you which, what to flip, what to fold, all that good stuff. Uh, is there anything here in the secret pocket? Nope. Okay, good. Good, I hate it when they do that, when they stick stuff in there like that. Because then you throw away the, pop, the cardboard and you miss stuff. That's never good. So let's nip him out. Let's nip him out and take a look. Yes. Nip there. Nip there. Right there. Mm. There we go. On there. Oh. There we go. So got him? No. No, there's more. There's more. They really made sure he wasn't going anywhere. Oh, there he goes. He went somewhere. <laughs> he fell. He fell. Oh, let me see here. Pick out the accessories. There we go. Finally. Finally, the last thing to nip out is his cannon. Because what is Galvatron, or even a Megatron, without a big gun? I mean, yeah, most times they turn into big guns, but they have to have a big gun on their own. So that need that no more and that takes care of that so here he is now before we get into it there's one thing i need to check and that is is my galvatron part of the 99 percent and judging from just looking at him sadly yes so obviously some people are like wait what is the 99 percent well when galvatron first came out it turns out there was a major issue 99% of the Galvatron figures were not assembled correctly. 
Yes, that's right. They came all out of the factory all wonky. At least the shoulders did. So, yeah. As you can see, his arms are kind of like... See where his shoulders are positioned here? Now watch this. Suddenly, his shoulders are up higher. You see that? I, I fixed that just by turning it around. But, as you can see, the detailing is wrong on this. Because if this was like this, you would see how the detailing was all different and matched up in different ways. So, yeah. 99% of the Galvatrons came out of the factory with the shoulder with this, where you can see the uh, post cap that holds it together is now in the wrong spot. If his shoulders, you know, was like up where they're supposed to be, you now have this post cap there. Instead of here on the back, is just, just like this little extra detailing and just like that little clip there. But yeah, yeah, so. Yes, unfortunately, my Galvatron is part of the 99%. There are lots of videos on YouTube from various collectors that show you how to fix that because they're using a steel mushroom peg so you can't just unscrew it and realign everything. No. You literally have to pry the figure apart in order to get it done, to get that straightened out. That is because the arm is assembled with nothing but mushroom pegs. There's one little screw hole, and that's down here, and that's it. The rest are all these mushroom pegs, so it is not an easy fix. I'm not going to mess with that, just because this right here, these mushroom pegs being visible, doesn't bother me that much. Okay, it really don't. That can be covered up with some putty or something like that, and that won't be an issue. Or even put a sticker over it. So, yeah, there's that little gripe out of the way. Yep, it's pretty bad when a major QC issue happens and, like, 99% of the figures released from the factory are all misassembled. Bad, Hasbro. Bad! But, anyway... Moving along, let's see how awesome he is otherwise. And we got some major posability here. Again, you saw me flip around the shoulder, so you know he's got some range of motion there. The forearm, 90 degree elbow there. Head is on a ball joint so he can squirrel all over. <laughs> can kick up, look at that. Kick back that far, oh, bump the camera. And he's got nice deep knee bend. That looks like it is almost 90 degrees. Nice. So he is very poseable. Um, obviously I got a little bit of a complaint right here is that his tank treads on the back, they do not secure very well. They're just kind of flopping around here. Not flopping around like they're super loose, but they just kind of keep bumping and moving out of the way and... Okay, so yeah, I got another complaint. <laughs> oh well, oh well, other than that, it's all good. But yes, he is very, very G1 accurate looking. He looks great. I love this. This is pretty darn amazing looking. Much better than the Galvatron figure we got for uh, Power of the Primes. Or, no, no, that was Titan's Returns. That was Titan's Returns. He was a Voyager class then, and yeah, he's still got a bit of a barrel chest this time around, but it's actually more in line with the figure itself. The uh, Titan's Returns figure, you know, all the he was a Voyager class, and all those Voyager classes were triple changers. And he had the cannon mode, but his jet mode was kind of very reminiscent of the Tetra Jets. But it did not look good at all. It really didn't. So, yes, he is. I love this one much better. Much, much better. More G1 accurate. Much more posability. Yes. Look at that detailing. And there is, like, no gaps. I love that. You know how I feel about gaps in the plastic. The only real gap I see is right here in the forearms, but that is due to transformation, so that is acceptable. <laughs> oh, he's got some gaps here on the feet, but again, you know, you won't be seeing that, so. 
That's all good. So, what accessories does he come with? Again, got a matrix on a chain to recreate that scene in the movie when he had the matrix like this. It was just blinged out, showing off. Now these are described as being pistols that he can use, but if you notice, if you ever saw the uh, original animated movie, these are styled after the ship that Unicron gave him. So yes, he's got two little mini spaceships designed to look like blasters. And these also can combine. Huh. How about that? Look at that. So he's got this big old dull barrel blaster that he can have there for one hand, or he can, of course, do wield. And these fit in a couple different places, don't they? Yes. Let me see here. Eh, I'll figure it out in the instructions. I'll figure it out in the instructions. I think those fit in there. Oh, well. But most importantly, again, he has his big gun. Yes. <laughs> you got to have a Galvatron with that big old orange cannon there on the front end. And that just pegs right there in the forearm where it's supposed to. So, yes. Yes. <laughs> now, that looks nice. Look at that. Look at that. That is nice looking. You know, I, just, I like this. This is nice. Got that hand cannon there. So yes, he is armed to the teeth. <laughs> uh, I again, you know, it's like other than that mistransformed joint, you know, there at the shoulder. If I had any other complaint, again, it would be this, you know, this. I guess he would call it weathering, or something. I know they go for like consider battle damage or something, but it's yeah. I don't know. I don't know what they were going for right here. Especially with the coloring on this. I would understand it better if this was like silver or kind of steel looking. Instead of this purple. That's that's an odd color choice. Down here on the legs. You know, again, you got that right there. And it, that's even more strange. It, it, it looks less like weathering and more like he just wait, had to like go through a pool of muck that was ankle deep and it just stained his legs that is so weird looking that is really odd that is an odd choice but yeah yeah okay so there's that <laughs> but yes here is leader class kingdom galvatron so I guess that's it for robot mode. I'm going to put him in his cannon mode and see how well that looks, because I like this. We'll see what we get. So, hang on one minute. Okay, so, as you can see, this is not properly assembled into cannon mode. And there's a reason for that. As I was transforming it, you know, I thought the quality issues was just simply in the shoulders. It's not. This thing, this particular figure, has the same part for these shoulder hinges. Literally. They used two, I guess you would say, left panels or left hinges to assemble this guy. This is supposed to be able to fold down and everything like that. And see that big groove? That's supposed to allow clearance for this peg, which goes into the side of the leg here. This side does not do that because it's the wrong piece. So, yes, I cannot transform him into cannon mode. Because they get, they assembled him with the wrong parts. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My Galvatron is broken right out of the gate. Not cool. Not cool, Hasbro. What in the world? So, other than, you know, can't transform that one side of him. 
the instructions had to place the cannon here and the back end of that would plug in here. And that would be the cannon mode. Oh yeah, these come down to help pull up the back end, so. Yeah, so there's that. Can't use it. Ugh, that is so frustrating. That is frustrating. I was afraid I wasn't going to get one of these guys because the pre-orders and all that, so I slapped down a pre-order rather than wait to see if the quality control was on their game, and no. No, it is not. Can't can't do anything with them. I got them in robot mode. That works. But that's it. Can't have them as a cannon. That's half, that is half this figure's appeal. It's because, look, from this angle, looks great. Looks great. This side? Yeah, no. No. So, yeah. I, I, this isn't even, like, one of those things you can fix with the shoulder, because that is just the wrong part there. There is literally no way for, to fix this. If, uh, if I want to work in Galvatron, I'm going to have to buy another one. That is beyond disappointing, Hasbro. You done failed. You have failed me. So, yeah. This has been Balthazar. I'll catch you all later.